While sleep is a necessity for all of us, some individuals tend to fall into a deeper slumber than others. Alicia Johnson, residing in Linden, Utah, experienced this firsthand during a memorable trip to a Walmart store in May 2017. Instead of accompanying her mother on a shopping excursion, Alicia's 13-year-old daughter, Savannah, opted to stay in the car, where she eventually drifted off into a deep sleep. However, when Alicia returned to the vehicle, despite her earnest efforts, she could not rouse Savannah from her slumber. Shopping for groceries with children can often be a challenging endeavor for parents, but navigating a store with teenagers presents a different dynamic. Teenagers as young adults are typically afforded more autonomy and trust by their parents when visiting places like Walmart. However, Savannah Johnson's choice of action on that fateful day was quite unusual. On May 15, 2017, Savannah accompanied her mother, Alicia, on a trip to the Walmart in Linden, Utah. While her mother entered the store, Savannah decided to stay in the family car, listening to music. Without a care in the world, Alicia ventured into the store, leaving the car keys with her daughter. Regrettably, this decision would soon lead to unexpected consequences. Twenty minutes later, Alicia returned to the car, only to find Savannah sound asleep in the passenger seat. To compound the situation, the car's doors were locked, preventing Alicia from gaining access without the keys. Desperate to wake her daughter, she resorted to hammering on the window and shouting her name. Despite her persistent efforts, Savannah remained undisturbed, prompting Alicia to resort to her cell phone for help. Concerned and with her smartphone recording the incident, Alicia continued her attempts to wake her daughter. In the video, a fellow shopper in the parking lot joined the effort by sounding their car horn. However, despite these efforts, time continued to pass, and Savannah remained in her deep slumber. We even tried to rock the car by jumping on the back of it, but nothing worked. Alicia later recounted in an interview with NBC affiliate TSL in May 2017. I was concerned at first, but I kept watching, and I could tell she was fine. While Savannah appeared unharmed, Alicia realized she had to take drastic action. Around 30 minutes after initially returning to her car, Alicia made the difficult decision to call the police. Soon after, several officers from the Linden Police Department arrived at the parking lot. Alicia explained, Savannah didn't want to come into the store with me, so she wanted me to leave the keys in the car so she could listen to music. With smartphones still recording the unfolding incident, a police officer determined that breaking into the car was the only viable solution. He skillfully used a tool to unlock the driver's side door, and within moments, he succeeded, much to Alicia's relief. Oh, you did that so fast, she exclaimed, to which the officer responded with a smile, oh, a bit of practice. Upon the officer's instructions, Alicia entered the car to check on Savannah, who slowly woke up. Hey, Savvy, look around, Alicia said, we had to call the police to open up the car. Still groggy, Savannah took a few moments to comprehend the situation. Wait, what happened? She mumbled, oblivious to the commotion around her. As her mother explained the events that had transpired, Savannah expressed her gratitude to the officer who had freed her. You're welcome, he replied with a touch of humor. Glad you got a good nap. The video concluded with a lighthearted message that praised the Linden Police Department for their assistance. Special thanks to the Linden Police Department. They serve while you sleep. Literally. Two days after this incident, Savannah's father, Tim, posted the video on Facebook with the caption, It takes an act of deity, or the Linden Police Department, to wake up my daughters. However, the video's response was anything but sluggish. It garnered over 61,000 views and 120 shares, and it even caught the attention of Inside Edition. The news outlet's report on the incident, titled, Teen Falls Asleep in Mum's Car and No One Can Wake Her Up, gained significant popularity after being uploaded to YouTube on May 19, 2017. Remarkably, the video has amassed over 4 million views to date. Unbeknownst to her, Savannah unwittingly became an internet sensation, but her remarks about her sleeping patterns added an intriguing layer to the story. 
Recalling the incident in May 2017, Savannah shared with KSL, I felt like I hadn't even fallen asleep. I'm a pretty light sleeper, I can wake up to, like, anything. Savannah's perspective on her sleep habits is thought-provoking. In reality, our sleep cycles comprise four distinct stages, each essential for rejuvenating our bodies before we wake. The initial stage is light sleep, during which we can easily rouse ourselves. The second stage witnesses a cessation of eye movement as brain activity decelerates. The third stage entails deep sleep, as the name implies, while the fourth stage, known as REM sleep, features brain waves resembling our waking state, where our most vivid dreams occur. Therefore, despite Savannah's claim of being a light sleeper, like everyone else, she experiences periods of deep sleep each night. During these phases, growth hormones are released, revitalizing muscles and fortifying our immune systems. Savannah informed KSL that she had been quite busy before her Walmart trip and was feeling fatigued. She expressed her initial confusion upon awakening in her mother's car, saying, I was just thinking, like, what happened? Did somebody break in or did I pass out? Like, what happened? Meanwhile, reactions to the video on social media were overwhelmingly positive, with one comment standing out, captured the heart of the nation with your family's nap time, wrote Chris Johnson on Facebook. Now that's something every good American can aspire to. Thank you for showing us the way. As for Alicia, she was taken aback by the events in the parking lot that day, despite acknowledging that her daughter generally enjoys her sleep. Consequently, it's likely that their trips to the store will never be the same again, as the mother seeks to avoid a repetition of the Walmart incident. I don't think I'll ever have her wait in the car again while I'm in the store shopping, Alicia told TSL in May 2017. It did scare me, but I knew she was safe, and I'm glad she's okay. Deep sleep is a crucial aspect of the human body's restorative process, typically occurring at night. However, Alicia Johnson got a first-hand glimpse of it while attempting to wake her daughter in a Walmart parking lot. Thanks to the power of social media, Savannah's sleep patterns have now made her an online sensation, 